Hey guys, it's Joe Hashi with part two of your shoulder week. In the first video I showed you how to assess internal and external rotation. In this video I'm going to show you a couple mobility movements to get things loosened up so you can go back and test it and see if you got an improved range of motion. The first one, it's one of my favorites. I picked it up from a guy named Steve Cotter years ago in a YouTube video. And he explained how he picked it up from, I believe it's a martial artist. And he called it a teacup mobility drill. But basically they put a teacup in your hand and I like to do a seated so I can really posture up. And you rotate it and keep your palm up. Around. You see my palm turn slightly. You gotta keep it up and through. So I would drop the teacup right there. But I like to do it with uh, something like a ball. I have a porcupine ball here, or a cross, or a tennis ball. Just so you can fit into the concave part of your hand. You can feel the movement on it. You wanna keep it really steady and palm up if you're good at it. I'm starting to get a little bit better here and see a little bit. When I come around, it's tough to get full range. And I like to sit so I don't get a lot of compensation through the legs, I'll get a little bit in the trunk. So, palm up, rotating around, palm up, and rotating through. You see, I stabilized it a little bit with my thumb, so I'm continuing to improve at this drill, but it's a great exercise for mobility. I'll show you side angle. Flexing, one hip up, and we're going to creep this arm all the way up above the shoulder so that we can rest our head here. From here, we're going to actually start with the arm in this position. We're going to be able to activate our abs and our glutes, and from here, we're going to slowly start to sweep our fingertips around the floor, squeeze that shoulder blade back as we start to come around and then really start to internally rotate that shoulder until we get the hand almost close to mid back or higher depending on your mobility. From here, we're gonna squeeze that shoulder blade back and we're gonna go ahead and extend that shoulder joint, open everything up, sweep around, keep the shoulder blade tucked down into the pocket and come back to the beginning. And I'll do two more so you can see that. Take an important note of Rob's fingers as he comes around, he's keeping them on the ground once he gets past that down arm. So you're not just filling your arm up in the air, you need to get that full range. Next week, I'm going to give you a link to Rob's YouTube channel in the description if you want to check out more stuff by him. Thanks for being here. Alright, I hope you like both drills. Make sure to comment what you want us to cover next week. We already got some comments in the first video. Some people wanted punching power. Some people wanted ankle mobility. Some people wanted warm-ups. Whatever you guys want, you've got to comment on this video. If you have a second, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.